sessions um, this is more just kind of like conversations that I like to have um, with myself today and uh, hopefully with some of you out there um, this is more just kind of like conversations that I like to have look at that let's turn that down yeah there we go 
All right, want to thank uh, all of you for checking in. Christian, Javier, Amancia, big love. Karina Cervantes. All right, Olga. Olga Olivares. Looks like Heli Rodrigo Tahia Tafatao. Yes, beautiful name. Vladimir Morgado, Big Mountain. What a great sound. Your music is amazing. Thank you, Vladimir. Sophie Nelson, cool way to wake up. Yes, Sophie. I'm glad. Yeah, yeah, just roll around with the pillows and chill out, and I'll try to make your morning nice. Such a sweet melody. Denise, maybe. Sophie, Jose Delmo. Brunati, my brother Junior, Helso, and Pablo, Veronica, Warren, Don. What a bunch of beautiful names. Big Mountain family. We're a diverse group, you know. And speaking of that, diversity is our strength, my people. Remember. We are strong because we come from such a wide, diverse, uh, you know, all categories, man. Um, as this election is coming in to play, you realize that there's two distinct sides. You know, one side is made up of uh, people from all walks of life all genders, all colors, religions, right? Uh, people that are, that are trying to find a way to work together, try to find a way for all of our cultural strengths to work together. You know, we are, we are all good at something. Um, but more importantly, we all need to be, we all need to have input. Everybody needs to give in. Everybody needs to give in their opinion. And we have to have uh, hope that this is what's going to lead us to a solution. There is no other way. Because, of course, the other side that we're dealing with in this election thing is made up of one cultural background, right? White folks in America, in the United States. Um, so, you know, uh, those of us who are trying to find, uh, reasons to vote and get active in these last three weeks, um, I think, uh, one of the things I just want to encourage you all to remember is that our diversity, the fact that we have strong, empowered women on our side is probably our greatest strength, right? As, as a voting block. Um, but also the fact that we have so many cultural backgrounds, you know, Latinos, African Americans, um, and then different religious groups, you know, we can't forget our Muslim brothers and sisters that, uh, that, that, uh, you know, some of us are immigrants, some of us are second, third generation, right? Um, um, our diversity is our strength, man. And that's what makes us cool. Because the last thing you want to do is go to some party where there's just all one color, right? I mean, that's cool too. But what I'm saying is that we have come so far. I know that there's so many setbacks. You know, this whole Supreme Court thing, man, has kind of been bumming me out. Um, I know it's been bumming a lot of us out, and there's so much going on. We really can't even focus on the fact that the Supreme Court is going to be six to three, you know, six conservatives. So that's intense. Um, but there's too much going on to even focus. We're all going to wake up next year going, wow, look at, look at what we're dealing with now, the possibility of... Uh, a woman's right to choose to be taken away. Um, or, you know, uh, the, the whole attack on a national health care system. Uh, can we ever do it now? 
can we ever have a national health care system with six conservative judges? Um, you know, there's only one way to go. I mean, we, we, we obviously, we keep on moving forward, right? You know, I'm sure they tried to take a woman's right of vote away after they gave women the right to vote, right? Not gave, but women demanded. I'm sure there was plenty of people that tried to figure out ways to take that vote back, but it didn't happen. That was what, a hundred years ago? So we know that national health care is in our future. When is it going to happen for real? Um, now, you know, now we're looking at a Supreme Court that can take down any progressive law. That's scary. I can feel the trade winds blowing through my head Island magic, comfort me. I smell flowers in the sweet Hawaiian air. Island magic, please set me free. Some clouds are resting gently on the mountain. Moving so slowly from peak to peak, a rainbow stretches clear across the valley. Those sweet vibrations hold me. I watch all my troubles slowly slip away. Island magic, comfort me. Now begins the dawning of a brand new day. Island magic, please set me free. Some lights are shining clear off in the distance. They are the people So proud and strong Like pretty flowers Growing on the hillside They must grow freely Only Easy now this is no illusion Simple natural visions in the air Easy now Greener is the future I can see the picture over there Some lights are shining clear off in the distance They are the people So proud and strong Like pretty flowers growing on the hillside They must grow freely Only Now, this is no illusion. 
simple natural visions in the air. Easy now, greener is the future. I can see the picture over there. Yes. Denise Nurse, we need to unite as one people. We need to see souls, not color. All right, that's the energy we need coming in. Give me some energy. I want to see some fire, my people. <laughs> Emojis. I was listening to a podcast the other day, and they were saying this emoji thing. Um, not into it. Like I'm supposed to use these little pictures. It seems so childish. And I was thinking, wow. I can't even, you know. I mean, that's just like. It's just part of it now. It's become part of our culture, right? Emojis. And when he, when he. It's funny because. Uh, well, you know, I did. I, I know at some point I knew it, uh, I connected the word emoji with emotion, right? But then you forget, the word just becomes a word. And then again, the other day when he did it, he's emojis. Okay, yeah, that emo means emotions, right? So it's supposed to display something. Now we're using symbols. Now we're going back to like Egyptian times, right? Using symbols to communicate. That song... Um, Island Magic uh, was from an album I did um, called Mahalo in 1998. I wonder if I can remember another one. I think I can. This is uh, written by my good friend, Henry Capono. And I think Cecilio wrote this too. No, I don't know. I forget. Sometimes they wrote tunes together. I think maybe this was just Henry. I remember when I was down and out you came. I remember when you said, friend, hey, what's your name? Uh, getting off on each other. We can work it out. We are friends, friends, friends. We are friends, friends, friends. Well, I remember when I was down and out you came. I remember when you said, friend, hey, what's your name? All right, how does this go? Get enough on each other. We can work it out. We are friends, a friends, friends. We are friends, friends, friends. F feelings are getting strong. Feels like you belong. Well, as you can see, smiles that are real. And then Big Fiji came in with the rap. A oh, baby, you and me, we're like family. I put my trust in you, you put your trust in me. Understand, it's all about the big plan. We're calling out the sounds from all the islands. Cause I love you, and you love me. And we got to do what is necessary. Cause friends like you is hard to find. So keep it on the real in this crazy life. 
And if you feel like singing now, then let's sing out loud. Cause it will make you feel good just to sing right out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting off on each other, we can work it out. Oh, we did the big modulation. Ready? We are friends, friends, friends. We are friends, 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 friends forever. Yeah, man. We are friends, friends, friends. We are friends. Yeah. Recorded that with Naleo Pilimihana from Hawaii, Henry Capono, and uh, Fiji. Fiji, right? Way before, before Fiji was the iconic legend that he is today. That was right before his big album, the album with, uh, with all the big chewing. Sweet darling, what did I do to deserve you? What did I say to make your angel eyes turn my way? Fiji, he had the other tune on. What was it? The uh... Be my naughty, be my naughty girl in the morning time. Yeah, that was 1998 we recorded that. So what do we got? What do, what do we got the people saying over here? Uh, Can you play Stole My Heart? You know, I'm going to I'm gonna pull off um, Gracias, Teresita. Ya es amor. Shout out from Philippines. You stole my heart away. You know what? I'm going to get that ready for next week. Juan Gab, <laughs> what did he say? John says, sing some Juan Gabriel. <laughs> Juanga? Yeah, shoot. We need some Juanga in the house. I need to learn some Juanga. I want to learn that one. What is it about that? Ah, yeah, yeah. I'm not even going to start. We need to find Jesus. Yeah, well. <laughs> You know, we all need to find something, that's for sure. All right, you stole my heart. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to do you stole my heart away, unfortunately. I'm going to get that, though. You know, you got to understand, a lot of these songs, I never, I don't play guitar. When, uh, when I play them live, I do the, the mic in hand thing go up there and try to dance but uh, but this one I I, I I spent time on yesterday yeah oh and actually it starts like this it down so it's not so hard at uh what is it what time is it yeah oh but then i can't go down and do that major i'll have to go up here okay see soul intention to earn your affection cause you're the one who sets my world on fire and I want you in my world forever 
Show me thought in the sky And I will steal it for you, baby There's nothing I wouldn't try Ooh, just to keep you satisfied Ah, And if you want the moon wrapped up And brought right there, right to your door I would find a way I would find a way to get it I bring the world to you And if that won't do I do something more I would find a way I would find a way baby na 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 just make it happy baby I would find a way I would find a way take you anywhere you ever dreamed of cause there's no limitation if you're my inspiration Cause I can do anything If I've got your love No one will ever love you better Show me a star in the sky And I will steal it for you, baby There's nothing I wouldn't try Ooh, just to keep you satisfied And if you want the moon wrapped up And brought right there, right to your door I would find a way I would find a way to get it I bring the world to you And if that won't do I'd do something more I would find a way I would find a way, baby Na 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 ni na 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 Just to make you happy, baby I would find a way I would find a way Ah, all right. Not too bad. Um, we'll get better at that. You know, this whole new acoustic thing. It's nice, man. You know, like a lot of times, and I'll be honest with you. There's been times in my life where I did the hotel thing. Sitting on the side of a pool, you know singing Bob Marley and UB40 and um, and I did some big, I, I, did, I did a good amount of Big Mountain stuff but when you're in that setting you're dealing with all kinds of people and you know they know everybody knows one Big Mountain song right but but uh, I end up doing everybody's music all kinds of stuff and uh, rock and classic rock and then Spanish stuff and but um, for some reason I never did that song it's cool to play it like that there's a couple of spots but it's it's but it's a tough song to sing it's um it's a lot of work a lot of air all right well, what should we do talking about doing everybody's song No woman no cry No woman no cry No woman no cry No woman no cry Hey I remember when we used to see in a government's yard in Trench Town, observing the hypocrites. Whoa, whoa. Logwood burn with the that we meet. Yeah. Good friends we've had and good friends we've lost. Yeah. Along the way. Hey, yeah. In this great future, you can't forget your past, no, no, no. So 
you dry your tears, I say, hey, hey, hey. No woman, no crime. No woman, no crime. No woman, no crime. No woman, no crime. Hey, hey, hey. I remember when we used to see in a government's yard in Trench Town. And then Georgie would make the fire light, yeah. Logwood burning through the night. And we would cook on meat porridge, of which I'll share with you, you, you. Minor feet is my only caring. Oh, so I got to push on through. But while I'm here, I'm singing. Everything's gonna be alright, yeah, yeah. Everything is gonna be alright. I said, Everything is gonna be alright. Everything is gonna be alright, yeah. Everything is gonna be alright. Everything is gonna be alright, yeah, yeah. Everything is gonna be alright, yeah, yeah. Everything is gonna be alright. So, no woman, no cry. No woman, no cry. Woo, 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 woo. Here, little darling. Whoa, don't shed no tears. No, no woman, no cry. All right. I was saying, why did I play this song? And then I, when I got to the part, everything is going to be all right. I said, oh, that's why. Because everything is going to be all right. It doesn't mean that we can't be engaged in our community, my people. And, you know, this is your world, man. This is your world. Get into it, you know. Try not to get so absorbed in all this media that you forget to walk right next door and know your neighbors. And, you know, sometimes we say, oh, I don't even know if I want to know my neighbors. Well, guess what? They're human beings. And, uh, you know, it doesn't, I mean, you, you, to a certain extent, you, you also have to create your own tribe, right? I mean, we, uh, We, we don't have to continue to invest so much time in a family just because of the whole blood thing. I just don't believe that's uh, absolutely necessary. Yes, family is important when family is positive and when family is healthy. Family is important. And, you know, at one time we were all cruising around in these tribes. Family was really important. And I kind of think that, you know, a lot of this blood sort of uh, myth that we hold that we're supposed to have some sort of connection to our family, which I know this is probably a lot of people aren't going to like this, right? But this is based upon when we were tribes, living hunters and gatherers, living in, you know, these bands that depended so much on each other. Brotherhood and sisterhood at that time was so important, right? Because we... We did everything together, and we depended on each other. If somebody didn't catch a rabbit, man, it was set for somebody else, or you know, it was like the, there there was cooperation, there was love, and there was uh, there was sharing, sharing. You know, um, we got to get off of this idea that uh, 
our material wealth is really something to to feel so secure about. Um, you know this this mad materialistic frenzy that the world is on um, and has been on for a while, right? This is nothing. Uh, this is nothing new. But it just seems like it gets worse and worse because all these little things. We just got all these little things and gadgets, right? I do too in the studio. I've way, I always buy way too much shit. But at least they're you know they're tools. They're tools. They're things to uh, to make my music. You know I have to invest. One of these days I'll give you guys a tour. Um, kind of show you. You guys would probably like that, huh? For for me to do some demoing on some recording and stuff like that, show you guys how I record. Um, it um, it's pretty interesting. I'm gonna do something sacrilegious. I'm gonna sing a song that I'm not done recording with. Recording. But I, I'm curious, yeah, those of you who are listening, really listening, which I appreciate, by the way, thank you. Thank you, guys, for spending this time with me. Let me know what you think of this song. Whoa, whoa, baby, you're a star, and I'm your satellite. I'll do anything to keep you shining bright. Well, you don't have to worry. There ain't no denying that you're a star and I'm your satellite. My baby, you are everything to me. You're like a beautiful sun. I am a mango tree. We keep on bubbling and I don't see no trouble. We're like two pieces in a puzzle, you know. The green light flashing when we're ready to go. You cook me food just out me like so. And I'm so ready to back your flow, whoa, whoa, so I can kick them up and take any show. Cause baby, you're a star and I'm your satellite. And I'll do anything to keep you shining bright, yeah. Well, you don't have to worry. There ain't no denying, baby, no. You're a star and I'm your satellite. From the first exchange, I knew life had changed, and then all my game had to be rearranged. It used to be all about just me, but now I could see you were in a different league, and I know that it was time to me to open the door to a brand new life, and what's more, I had to step aside and let you shine so I could bask in your glow, cause baby, you're a star, and I'm your satellite. I'll do anything to keep you shining bright, yeah. Well, you don't have to worry, cause there ain't no denying. You're a star and I'm your satellite. I will never know. Uh, uh, uh. You're a star and I'm your satellite. Woo, 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 woo. You're a star and I'm your satellite. All right, what do we got here? Super cool song, Sophie Nelson. Yes, Sophie, big up to Sophie. Got lots of fire on that. All right, well, Sophie was listening. Rita, Kino, that's me. That is moi. All right, thank you, everybody. Hope everybody's feeling good. I know I've been kind of going back and forth from the positive to the negative, but... Uh, you know, we have a lot to be positive about. I think that, you know, people are more active. I think the young people are today are a lot more realistic about life. Uh, this gives me a lot of... Sounds really good. I hope you do record that one. Dave Diaz, thank you, bro. Thank you. I will. Now that you said it, I will. 
Dave, he pushed, I was on the cliff and he pushed me over the edge. Yes, me lion, thank you. Now that was in a positive way, meaning I needed a joke. Um, you know, the young people today, man, um, I really think uh, they have been forced into understanding that there's some realities about this world that, uh, uh, that, that they have to really be able to process correctly. And um, unfortunately, a lot of it has to do with the lack of opportunity, right? And now this whole... Um, and uh, the, the pandemic has kind of pushed us into this no man's land where all of our routines have been broken, right? These routines that we held so sacred, this constant money, money, money thing, right? And not that we're not still in that mode, but I think that us breaking out of that mode for a minute kind of made us realize, whoa, uh, maybe it's not so important for us to be so dedicated to this regular shopping routine that maybe we were in before or you know maybe we've given up some products that we thought we absolutely needed that now we don't um you know we've come to understand that you know i think we've all endured a lot and we continue to endure a lot yeah man Okay. All right, we're going to do one more song. All right, let's do uh Was this On top of big mountain there no room for Babylon On top of big mountain We don't deal with no shit storm, no Oh, no, no On top of big mountain You can find true America On top of big mountain, there is no room for Babylon. For so long, oh, there has been no justice in this land. Oh, what is the reason for this deceiving? I just can't understand. How could anyone justify those evil plans that they had? Oh, the missionary man killing Americans all in the name of God. Oh, yeah. But on top of Big Mountain, we don't deal with no shit storm, no. Oh no. On top of Big Mountain, you can find true, true people. On top of Big Mountain, we don't deal with Babylon, no, no. Oh no, on top of Big Mountain, there is no room for Babylon. There's just no room for Babylon. Oh, not on a mountain, no. Not on a sacred mountain, no. There's no room for Babylon, no. There's no need for racism. No need for sexism. No need for Babylon. Oh yeah, no need for Babylon. 
No need for Babylon, there's no need for Babylon. On top of Big Mountain. Yes, sir. All right. We're rocking and rolling. Mmm. Oh, give thanks. Sophie's on fire. Yes. Huh? Okay, that's right. We're going to take an intermission, everybody. All right. Listen to something. What are we going to listen to? Oh, Touch My Light. This is a brand new release. Big Mountain. Brand new release. Uh, call up your radio. If you still listen to radio, um, ask them that uh, you want the new uh, version of Touch My Light. And we'll get the name of it. We'll, 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 we should put a, a link up there. But uh, I'll be right back with some more acoustic music. Big love. Ooh, yeah. Le da di da di da di da Sometimes it's so hard to see The things that we dread so much Come apart so easily And in my distress I often pray Would Jaja please when will things Start to come our way
If you would like to contribute to the Big Mountain Dub Club, we have opened a Big Mountain Dub Club Patreon account just for that. Allows you to contribute using a credit card or a debit card. We will have different tiers in the future, giving away different uh, items like t-shirts or maybe a inside view, some old archival video of Big Mountain demos, things like that. We're gonna find a way to uh, allow you to choose from a, a number of different tiers, okay? Thank you for your contribution. Uh, to contribute, go to patreon.com, that's P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com slash Big Mountain Dub Club. Thank you for your support. Intifada Guadalupana No hay otra Como esta Intifada Guadalupana La pregunta La respuesta no puedo ser como tú Hay que ser distinto oh, oh, oh. No puedo ser como tú No, no, no Hay que ser distinto Cada vez que cae el sol, otro día, y en esta conquista, nunca tengan miedo, mis hijos, porque siempre voy a estar contigo. Hey, hey, intifada. Guadalupana, no hay otra como esta intifada. Guadalupana, la pregunta, la respuesta. Yeah. Intifada Guadalupana, that's from a solo project I did called Quinazo, Q-U-I-N-A-Z-O. It was an album that I did, um, a lot of Spanish, most of that record was Spanish. And I used like a lot of uh, indigenous, mostly like Aztec, Mayan uh, uh, symbolism. You know, I, it was a time in my life where I was doing a lot of Native American sweats, you know. Um, I had some great mentors, and I was really exploring my Chicano roots. In this life, I think it's important for us to spend some time, you know, looking into cultural background, um, what am I trying to say, I guess that uh, I grew up in such a diverse family, um, raised by a black man, uh, my mother is full-blooded Mexican-American, and my biological father is a white man, Anglo. And so, uh, 
I, I learned early on that in living in the United States, uh, race ends up taking up such a big part of the discussion and kind of like the discussion that we have and the discussion that we don't have, right? Um, it ends up um, invading every aspect of our lives. And, you know, there's there, there's some people that say racism doesn't exist. And it's just so interesting that they can come to that conclusion. But I would, I had, you know, I really got into reggae music. And I got really into the whole, um, the symbolism of Jamaica and the symbolism of Rastafarianism. You know, when I got into reggae, when I started to record uh, records, we're talking like, um, this is probably like 1986, 87. Um, uh, the, the, the whole symbolism part of reggae was so important because it was, it was a growing movement. It was something that was happening and changing lives and, and this is post Vietnam so there was a lot of action in the air, a lot of energy going on in the United States. And um, uh, for those of us who used reggae as a way to kind of like, one, relax us, um, but two, give us a little bit of context into what was going on, because reggae musicians were talking about what was going on, right? Um, reggae musicians tended to be a lot more vocal than anybody else you know like you you would go to a reggae show kind of with the ex expectation that at some point somebody was going to give you a speech it was either the MC or one of the band members the musicians the singers um, you kind of went there with the expectation that uh, they were going to give you some medicine kind of like a little bit of their own opinion on issues and things like that but the world was still innocent enough that something coming from Jamaica was really exotic to us. I hate using that word. I shouldn't use that word exotic. It was very intriguing, very interesting, right? Because this was before the internet. You know, if you wanted to know about Jamaica, you had to you had to go to the library. <laughs> you had to go to the library. This is how this is how different, you know. I remember going to the library. There was one book on Haile Selassie. And if it was checked out, you know, we, 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 we I used to take the bus downtown in San Diego. There was, you know, a couple books on Marcus Garvey, a book on Haile Selassie. Nothing on Rastafarianism, per se. But, uh, yeah, it... Um, it used to be really difficult to get information. Um, all right. Well, where was I going? I can't get distracted. Sabes que hay 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 volumen en ese teléfono. Estoy escuchando algo por algún lado. All right. I guess what I'm trying to say is. Oh, that, uh, <laughs> All right. we're good, man, we're good, we're good. That album, Kinaso, you know, had a lot of uh, interesting symbolism. I got to learn that, learn how to play. There's like a nice song. Nuestro sol se ha caído, perdido de vista. This song is called Lamento de Cuauhtémoc, and, um, a purported speech. I mean, I, I, I got some of this information out of a book that was, let's say, metaphysical. So I'm not going to say this was the actual speech that Cuauhtémoc gave. Cuauhtémoc was the last emperor of the Aztec uh, Empire, right? And uh, he had like a farewell speech to his people before he saw the inevitable uh, outcome of the Spanish uh, invasion. Um, but it's 
I think that you know the 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 words and the and the lyrics are not as necessary as the message. Just trying to understand it, um, you know, empires end eventually, and being able to come to terms with the idea that all of this institutional stuff that's going on and what kind of holds this thing together called uh, the United States um, you know there's a lot of people in this country that are, that are really tripping hard on on that and, and, and are afraid that sort of the the thread the, the nuts and bolts of the United States are getting changed so much um and uh, and then the other side, we're sitting there going, yeah, well, we want to change it. You know what I mean? We're, there's a lot that we don't like about the United States. There's a lot that uh, we're not happy with, and we, you know, we're tired of this this stuff. You know, giving our taxes, paying all of our taxes. By the way, I, I you know, I spend a lot more federal taxes than Donald Trump, if you can believe that. But we spend all of our taxes, right? And then, and then we're dealing with racist institutions. These are our governments. We pay for these institutions. Our government should not be racist, because uh, so many of its citizens that support it have to deal with the consequences of racism. You know. Yeah. All right, we're not doing that. Leap of faith. Somebody wants leap of faith. Leap of faith. How about... Um, oh, that's what I was going to do. Nuestro sol se ha caído Perdido de vista Y nos ha dejado en pura oscuridad Cierto es que vendrá otra vez Se levantará otra vez Para iluminar el camino Y darnos fuerza Oh, despierta Mi pueblo despierta singing leap of faith <laughs> how sweet leap of faith oh, who is it for your daughter's born day ah share congratulations it's amazing how many songs we sang you know that was a that was producer a guy named um god dang it here i am forgetting his name and he was uh Anyway, he's the son of the man that wrote a bunch of great songs. Stole, stole Lieberman, yes, Lieber and Stoller, Jed Lieber, that's his name. Leap of faith, leap of faith, but it's too late, yeah, yeah. Leap of faith, take a leap of faith. We're on the edge of the Yeah. We never actually ever performed that song. No, no, we did. We did one show, one show in San Diego. And then, um, you know, it was a long story. In the music business, you end up getting involved with people and doing all these, you know, interesting projects. And then for some reason or another, it doesn't. 
pan through, you know, but you spend a lot of work doing something for a couple of months and then, then that's it. But I guess that's kind of life too, right? You know, we all have little jobs. I've had a million jobs where it was like, it was looked really good, but then it only lasted three weeks. But, uh, that's, that's leap of faith, leap of faith. It wasn't on the album. It wasn't part of a record deal. It was something with a private investor, somebody that uh, really loved, you know, wrote that song and, and we went on a little ride. Jed Lieber. And his dad wrote um, um, songs like, um, not Lean On Me, what's the other one? Stand By Me. Stand By Me. A few other tunes. Huge, huge tunes. No, not a few other tunes, a lot of other tunes. They were, they were, they were a big, uh, big, big writing duo, duo Lieber Stoller. So, Dabex, Palazuelos, saludos, saludos, mi amigo. What do you guys want to hear? No, yeah, coach. Huh? All the praises. All praises do. Thank you. Have you noticed the sky, the waves in the sea? There is a rhythm, a natural vibration, the birds in their flight, oh and it's light, life is abundant, and magic is present, yeah yeah yeah, seasons come and seasons go. All the praises do, all the praise, whom shall I praise? Seasons come and seasons go. All the praises do, all the praise, got to cherish this life in honor the prize. All the relations. The natural vibrations Cause as it was in the beginning So shall it be in the end Over and over All in all And is is one Seasons come and seasons go All the praises do All the praise whom shall I praise? Seasons come and seasons go. Jaja's merciful. All the praises do. All the praise. Sit back, relax in this year redeem. Feel it in your soul, never let go. Keep up the love, be legit. Got to bring a smile to the people with me. No need for no preacher, no guru. All the love you need is within you. Remember, you're the only one of your kind. Judge the other one to bless your life. Always got to love up the people and keep them close and never let go. Your love is short but sweet. So glad to know. Judge us in me. Always look around, see the most eyes face. No matter where I go, could be any place. The presence surrounds me. Give thanks and praises for everything. Seasons come and seasons go. All the praises do. All the praise. 
whom shall I praise? Seasons come and seasons go. Life is beautiful. All the praises do. All the praise. Who shall I praise? Seasons come and seasons go. All the praises do. All the praise. Who shall I praise? Life is beautiful. Oh, ja, ja, ja. La da da dee da 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 All the praises do. All the praise. Who shall I pray? Yeah, 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 yes. Oh. All the praises do. Tony Badoni on top of Big Mountain. You missed it, Tony. I already did it. I did it today, but I'll do it again for you. Yeah. I'll do it to this song. On top of Big Mountain, there is no room for Babylon. Whoa, whoa, on top of big mountain, they don't deal with no shit stone, no, 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 on top of big mountain, you can find aunties and uncles, whoa, 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 whoa yeah, on top of No room for Babylon. Let's try. Yeah. The Diné people of northern Arizona. Who bless that sacred land? Oh, bless that sacred land. On top of Big Mountain. There is no room for Babylon. Woo, woo, yeah, yeah. On top of Big Mountain, you can find aunties and uncles. Oh, began in 1970 under the Coronado Bridge in San Diego in mi barrio where my people they began to fight For Chicano Park For Chicano Park Under the bridge Under the bridge La da di di bi do da do Under the bridge Under the bridge, we shall continue to fight, my brothers. We shall continue to live, my friends. We shall continue to fight, my brothers and sisters. We shall continue to fight, my friends. Whoa, for Chicano Park. Under the bridge, for Chicano Park, 
under the breeze I don't want to wait in vain for your love I don't want to wait in vain for your love I don't want to wait in vain for your love. I don't want to wait in vain for your love. From the very first time I bless my eyes on you, girl. My heart says follow through. And now I know now that I'm way down on your line. But the waiting feeling's fine So don't treat me like a puppet on a string Cause I know how to do my thing, yeah, yeah Don't talk to me if you think I'm dumb Whoa, 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 whoa I'm gonna know when you're gonna come, yeah I don't want to wait in vain for your love I don't want to wait in vain for your love I don't want to wait in vain for your love I don't want to wait in vain for your love I don't want to wait in vain for your love I don't want to wait in vain for your love I don't want to wait in vain for your love I don't want to wait in vain for your love I don't want to wait in vain for your love a babu pa pa pe o, a babu pa pa pe o, pa ba du ba, pa ba du ba, pa ba du ba, pui 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 pa du. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna. No, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do 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 do. No, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna. No, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna. Uh uh. It sounds like a song I did not mean to get into. Yeah. Hey, we're having fun. Everybody, thank you. Thank you for uh, listening in. What do we got here? 9.30? Nueve y media? All right. I think we got a few more tunes here. Um, you know, we, uh, we're taking it. We took a few weeks break from the dub club uh, what would I say, format, um, there's a lot going on right now, I have a lot going on right now, um, many of you not know that I, uh, I make kombucha, I have, I'm part of a group of people, we have a company, it's called Big Mountain Kombucha, and, uh, and we're just involved in a lot of transition right now, building stuff. And so every day I'm running around, you know, just trying to make sure that everything's happening. We're not making any big mistakes, which we've already made <laughs> a couple of mistakes. You know, we're building a, f ferment a fermentation room uh, because uh, that's kombucha needs to be fermented. It needs to be warm. So it has to be climate control. So we've been doing this for almost three years. And um, and we've just been doing real ragamuffin, you know. Casera, as they call it here. Um, and so this, all, this whole experience of kind of starting to be in a business is strange for me. And... Uh, Part of it feels very unnatural and intimidating and, you know, at the same time, I can only do things the way I do them and I don't, you know, um, I'm feeling a little bit of stress right now that uh, I'm trying to keep at bay and just kind of, you know, reminding myself, Kino, now you know all of this shit is just... You got to treat it as a game. You know, you never know what's going to happen, right? 
this whole thing could flop and uh, um, and then I'm just gonna have a lot of kombucha to drink which in the beginning that was the whole the whole idea was I can never have enough kombucha to drink you know so why don't I just start a company and then thing you know people started asking me for it I just started making it for for me and, and, the, and my kids you know but one thing led to another so yeah, it's been uh, it's been a little intense. Um, I think I make things intense, um, and I I do th I do that because I'm a little impatient sometimes. Because once I see a vision, it's like okay, I got to do it now. You know, it's got to happen. And uh, and when you do that, you make mistakes. You know, we made a little probably should have designed a couple of the doors for the fermenters because now we don't have a whole lot of room for a sink stuff like that you know you just that that stuff shouldn't stress you out right i mean that's just such stupid i mean well how we were doing it before was fine we just weren't making enough actually how we're doing it right now because we haven't actually moved but uh you know we were doing a lot more just waiting for that kombucha to ferment kind of thing and but now we have people that are waiting you know they want the kombucha and they want it now and we can't make enough and i mean that's kind of a, a good problem to have but what's funny is that you find out that just the mad rush to try to keep volume up you end up spending money so it's like it's like i, I feel like we just keep investing and investing and everybody says oh this is great <laughs> this is great kombucha you know and uh, man, you guys are going to be great. You guys are going to, you know, you're going to be fine. And then you're going, well, we just, we just keep spending money. But, uh, you know, anyway, capitalism's weird, man. <sighs> you know, and I know, I know there's a lot of, there's a lot of people that are hurting right now and, um, That trips me up too. You know, just uh, how unfair everything is. Um, but uh, I don't know. At least it's kombucha. Because I really do believe it's medicine. And I do believe it'll help people. You know. I know it's helped me. Stress sucks. feel like stress is such a a product of us being all alone right I think that what sucks about this system is it is that we're just seems like we're all so pitted against each other and you know and we end up wasting so much time you know we should be we should be working in gardens and stuff like that all together and growing food and stuff like that you know, as a community, we should be doing things as a community. But this system doesn't nurture that idea that we're living in. How do we change that, people? You know, how do we get that sense of community back? Because I think stress. Is, has to do with that. We're all, each one of us is dealing with our own rent and bills, you know. There's got to be a way to. Get around that. Find communities, you know, with, li with like-minded people. 
why is that so crazy, you know? Everybody seems to think, like, oh, I don't want to start a community. I don't want to live in a village with people, you know? Commit myself to people. A team, you know? Team, families working together. Here's a song I wrote way back in the day. And it was about... When I wrote it, I was backpacking the big island of Hawaii. And I stumbled across this place. I shouldn't say stumbled. Everybody told me, go to Kalapana. So this would have been like around about 1982. Man, the place was just, you know, hippies and rastas and just Ital and just beautiful beach and just, you know, but it was all kind of like on this new created part of the island. So it wasn't really like lush jungle. There was jungle. There's jungle everywhere, right? But it wasn't like, you know, really thick jungle it was kind of like you know it, it was it, it was like a part of the island that had just been created by the volcano say like 500 years before a thousand years before right so so uh mother nature still you know hadn't grown a lot of soil right so it's like lava it's hard but uh black sand beach Longest black sand beach in the world at that time, Kalapana. And we would use Kalapana as our base. You know, we would like camp there and then we'd go off and we'd do a hike over here and do a hike over there. One time we went around the whole island. We met up with this guy that had a, had rented a car. And uh, just really simple times, you know, before... This is right after high school for me. And it was just about backpacks and, you know, jars of peanut butter. I remember that was like our staple. Loaves of bread and jars of peanut butter. <laughs> we survived. We survived off of that for a long time, you know. And we were in the middle. I can't remember it was such a funny story because it was me and my friend Darren Kinney. Rest in peace. We he he was this great collector of like gear hiking gear. So we both jumped off of the airplane into Hawaii with these big huge backpacks. Well, we soon found out that you know we didn't need eighty percent of what we had brought because we were in this tropical paradise, and we just needed a knapsack and some flip flops, you know. But man, we had, you know, just camping gear and stoves and and uh, survival knives and five compasses, you know, uh, four tents. And these were like tents for like sub-zero. <laughs> these tents were like for Mount Everest, you know. Anyway, we were prepared for, we were prepared for, uh, to, technically prepared for, to, what do they call it, summit, or to climb K2 or something like that, right, one of these big peaks, but, uh, but we were in paradise, so we went in, my mom's best friend's in-laws lived there in Hilo, where we landed in the Big Island, so we uh, took like 80% of our stuff, literally. 80% of our stuff, we just left there and we never used it. And we just cruised around and, you know, even finally when we did a couple of hikes, we didn't have our, our hiking boots, but we didn't want to go all the way back there. So we did this hike. We did this one hike in uh, Kilauea where there's these little things called pili hair because when the volcano erupts, a lot of this lava gets dried in the middle of, you know, spray, lava spray. So you have all these little, they look like little pencil leads, you know, those replaceable leads. They're everywhere. 
we didn't realize that uh and at first it was like oh, okay ouch you know we kind of got one and but we had these like sandals these like and, and they were new back then like these hiking type sandals you know the kinds that have the straps so all of our feet got full of these peely hair and then they have bacteria on them <laughs> so so we get, get we get up getting our feet infected and oh that was a long story I, I ended up having to leave my friend about like two hours in because he couldn't walk anymore and he was too big to carry so I went um uh, I went to town and to got get got some supplies. Ended up being a little longer. It was also, you know, I was supposed to be just gone one night. I ended up leaving him there for like two nights, I think, two three nights. But he was fine. He had enough food to get through it. And I ran into some friends. Kid, things you do when you're kids, you know. It's like you ran into some friends. I remember him going, "What do you mean you ran? You said you were going to be gone one night." I know. We were gone three nights. But anyway, yeah, and I wrote this this song on that trip. Actually, I started to write the song. I got pretty much most of the song written, but I, you know, it's like I really couldn't understand the hook. And then about 10 years later, I come back, and this is already after Big Mountain, uh, you know, had had starting to gain some popularity and now we were touring Hawaii which was such a trip you know because I went there as a kid backpacking and then what it, it would have been you know 82 it would have been 10 years later exactly 10 years later I was there playing with a band and I remember going this is the craziest thing of all places I could be touring to it's Hawaii you know we played the shell like in 94, I think. That was a dream come true. But anyway, when I went back to Kalapana, the the volcano had destroyed the whole beach. In the interim, there were some big eruptions. And it was a big lava plot. So what had been this paradise little beach, black sand, the longest black sand beach in the world, uh was now just lava straight up into the ocean. And then all of a sudden, the song Kalapana made sense because, you know, it was about memories. It was about life. You know, change happens in life, but uh, but your memories never change. You know, uh, it's hard to accept change. It's hard to accept change, but uh, but Kalapana will always be here. But boy, it was hard for me to wrap my head around the fact that this beach that had been there for millions of years, right? <laughs> the the beach is there for millions of years and then it gets destroyed in my lifetime. Maybe not millions, I mean, I don't know. Hundreds of thousands at least. Weird, huh? Isn't that weird? Okay. Uh, you know, I think we're done, yeah. I think we're going to wrap it up, folks. I hope you enjoyed this. We're going to sing you Kalapan away. Looking back, I can remember Living on the ocean side Way back when life was so simple Cooking on the open fire I never worried about tomorrow I was living for the day Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know why life got so different I don't know why life had to change Kalapana way, yeah Kalapana way Special memories never fade All my dreams of yesterday Take me back Calapan away You know that life will have its changes 
But may our memories never fade, yeah. We got to pick up all the pieces. We got to do our works today. Remember all those black sand beaches that we lost along the way. Hey, this life will give us so, so much, but it will also take away. Oh, Kalapana way, yeah. Kalapana way. Special memories never fade All my dreams of yesterday Take me back Kalapana way, yeah Woo, woo, yeah Take me back, take me back Take me back, take me back Take me back to Kalapana way I said, take me back, take me back Take me back, take me back, take me back to Calabana way, Calabana. Take me back, take me back, take me back, take me back, take me back to Calabana way. Take me back, take me back, take me back, take me back, take me back to Calabana way. Yes. A little song about how so much can change in life. So much can change in life. Be prepared for that. You young people, man. Uh, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking sometimes. Como vamos? We can wrap it up? All right. Uh, listen. I know uh, I apologize to everybody around the world. I'm talking about United States politics right now. Um... I know you guys have other things going on. I know a lot of you are, are focused on what's happening here. But, um, you know, it's just it's a crazy, crazy time. Uh, but I want to remind everybody that we got work to do, right? We're still on this path, regardless of what happens, regardless of civilization of whatever, right? Uh, we got to stay on the path that we're on to, to make this world just more compassionate, more nice, more loving. All right, don't give up on that. That's the main thrust. That's the main focus. Uh, more functional. Try not to get caught up on these in these conspiracy theories, man. It's just, we already know what the conspiracy is, right? The conspiracy against women has been going on for thousands of years. We don't need to go look at any books or, or jump online to know that. That's a conspiracy. You know, when we get women fully locked in to this society, a lot of our problems are going to disappear. Like President Trump, they're going <laughs> to, what did he say? <laughs> it's going to vanish like a miracle. No, that's for real. When we get, you know, half of our population stops being oppressed, hello, this world's going to get better. So we got to stay on that, on that path. And we got to stay on the path of people being proud of who they are. Get off of this. this your skin color, your beautiful smiling faces, your bodies, the way... The way life created your bodies are perfect, all right? And anybody or anything that tells you different, just get off of that vibe because that's not the truth. It's just not the truth. The truth is we have to be happy and comfortable with the bodies that we live in, man, and not let ignorance and, and manipulation and the press and all of these, you know, family pressures or, or, or stress, stress. All right, so spread your love. Be a leader. Be a leader, man. Be that person that, that uh, keeps everybody on the positive. 
that keeps everybody not thinking selfishly and not thinking small. All right? Thank you, Big Mountain family. I know I didn't get to a, a few of these. I know Ter Teresita Lozana was talking about uh, Moreno Soy. Moreno Soy porque así tenía que ser. Y en mi cantar soy es muy fácil de entender. I got to do that song for you, Teres Teresita. It's a beautiful song by an amazing band called Sonora Ponceña. I think where they were they were Hector Lavoe's first band, right? Because Hector did, I know um, Hector did, uh, you know, so many songs with them. But Teresita, uh, Legends Radio, my sister in from, uh, from, uh, from Puerto Rico, Borinqua. Everybody, thank you so much. It's been a beautiful day. Wise and positive words. Thank you, Sophie. Henry, Palma, Big Mountain Forever. Thank you, my brother. Valentino Fontana, Diego Angarita, Toyer Barenda, Benny Molton, Denise Nurse, Big Love, Fabian Correa, Valvira, Pauline Gonzalez. Yes, Rajiv. Yes, my brother. Diggy Dog. Yes. Diggy Dang. <laughs> Diggy Dang. I mean, Brenna. La Sina. Look at all these beautiful names. I love it. This is Big Mountain people. This is the Big Mountain family. Moreno, Alterado, Rigo, Caroli, Rob James, Joy LePage. I love you all. I love you all. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Big love. Stay strong. Blessings and prayers to you. Big Mountain.